Hey, what's up, Granos and Granette? Juan Granos, back again, this time with another review. So today we're gonna be talking about a very cool gadget. Now, first thing I gotta tell you is, of course, when a manufacturer or a retailer sends me an item for me to review, I gotta let you guys know, this is a sponsored review. Now, this particular gadget that I'm gonna be talking about today is actually a prototype, so it's not a finished product, it's still working on it, but I thought it would be cool to review it anyways. Now, this is different than most of the devices that I do. Um, it's, um, it's, a, that, it's just different. So why don't I just go over ahead into the review and into the unboxing. So the particular model I'm gonna be talking about today is called the K1 um, E-Ink Smartphone. Yes, exactly what you heard, it's an E-Ink Smartphone. Now, um, I'm just gonna switch the camera here. And this is a box, it looks pretty cool. I, li I like the design, I like the logo, I like how it, it arrived. Um, I, I, I have to, I, I'm gonna do an unboxing. I've been playing with this for a couple of days now, um, but I wanted to do a proper unboxing so you guys see what how it comes when it comes in the box. Now, like I said, this is a prototype um, of this particular model. And now, I think it says the phone is off. I did, I did it, I think I, 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 I used my phone to, to translate it. And I think that's what it says, the phone is off. But let's take everything out of the box so you guys can see what comes in the box. Um, it does come now <clears throat> uh, it is a cell phone that's the first thing I have to say it's a cell phone it's a smartphone um, and it does come oops oops oh let's see so it does come with a, uh, a pin so you so you could open up um, the, the the sim card reader it does bring instruction it does bring the wiring required you know you get your brick you get your USB wire everything that you need is in here even a, a pair of headphones um, now, what I really like about the phone is, so I've been playing with this phone for a while. Um, I've been uh, used it to make phone calls. The phone calls work just fine. You know, it's a regular phone. It's a regular phone. But what is impressive about this particular um, item is, well, let's, let's turn it on. So let me, let me see, make sure I got the camera zoomed in here so you guys can see. So, like I said, I think it says the phone is off there, but let's just turn it on. Now, the amazing part of this phone, or I should say, uh, e-ink is the battery life now I received this phone about a week ago and I've been using it constantly every day you know maybe an hour two hours three hours sometimes I left it on by mistake um, it does go into sleep mode um, and the phone battery we're gonna see what the phone battery is up to now but it, 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 it's it, the battery is crazy it's like it's got a 20 hour battery life it's got a 400 hour standby mode um, so here it is um, here's the phone and like I said, it's an e-ink phone, and you know, if you're used to e-inks, like you know, the Kindles, and remember the old Barnes and Nobles, um, whatever the hell it was called, I don't remember the name of that thing, um, but it uses an Android platform. Now, let me talk about the phone. Um, a, couple of, a couple of features. It does have a quad-core um, um, high-performance ARM operating at 2.2 um, gigahertz, so it's actually pretty fast for a small little phone like this, you know, I mean, again, it doesn't need that much power because the screen is obviously, um, it's, a, it's a black and white screen, it's not color screen. Um, it does have 16 gigabytes of RAM, which you can update, um, upgrade it to up to 64 gigabytes of RAM. So this particular model does come with Android um, 8.1, um, basically, you know, the, 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 you know, I think it's marshmallows. That's what they call it. I'm, I'm not hundred percent sure of all the terminologies of Androids, but, um, yeah, it comes with Android, um, 8.1. So it's basically an Android phone. Of course it has a dual band of Wi-Fi 2.5 or 5.0, uh, 5 uh, I should say gigahertz. It does have a GPS in it. Um, I'm not sure why, but I mean, it doesn't really have any, um, I guess for tracking and location tracking, that sort of deal, but it doesn't really have any functionality like that. You're not gonna wanna you know, watch, uh, look at maps on this phone. This phone is really for, uh, honestly, this is for the person who loves to read and needs a phone. Um, and don't, it doesn't need all the other bells and whistles that come with you know, um, the iPhones or the Androids or the, the Samsung. So this, is, this particular phone is for a niche audience which likes to read and it's very easy on the eyes, so your eyes won't get fatigued from looking at the screen for a long time you know so that's pretty cool so like I said it has a huge battery it has a 20 hour talk time 18 hours music time so you can actually you know listen to music or whatever and then it has another 25 hours 20 hours for reading time so you know if you want to read for 20 hours straight this is probably the phone that you want to get or I should say the e-ink smartphone that you want to get because that's what this is made for this is ideal for this 
Now the other cool part is, of course, it almost it basically supports every um, network there is out there. So this is a, an unlocked phone, or you could just put whatever chip you want in it, which I did. I had a um, what is it called? Uh, uh, oh, I forgot the name of it. Boost Mobile. I put I'm not Boost Mobile. I'm sorry. Uh, T-Mobile. I put it in there, and I was able to talk on the phone, you know. So and the in the communication sounds pretty good. You know, I was talking to somebody else. I was saying, oh, listen, can you hear me well? They're like, yes, everything's working fine. So without further ado, let me just jump right into this phone so you guys could check it out. Uh, talk too much already. So uh, let's unlock the phone. And there it is. And this is the welcome screen. It does give you this um, this clock here. Um, I didn't change anything. I left everything as it is. And like I said, look at the battery life. Now, like I said, I had this phone on. Let me see if I can get this on camera. Uh, let me flip the camera here better yet. Um, the battery life is a 54%. Now, when I received it, it was a 60%. So in the last week, 6% um, worth of battery, that's how much I use. It, I mean, that's, to me, that's simply amazing, you know, for, again, it's not a phone that has, again, there's no bells and whistles to this phone. This phone is, is, again, specific for an audience who likes to read and need a phone. That's it. You know, everything else is extra. So you got your phone here. You got your messages. Of course, you can message on this phone. You do have your email. You can get your email. Um, uh, and let's go to the next screen here. It does come with WeChat. Now, this particular phone is is is, is was made in China. It's, I think we have some music on here, so it plays music. I just want to make sure I'm, I don't get a hit on my on my channel. So let's just turn that off, off, off. Okay. Um, what else do we have? And again, we have the typical. Android listing of apps on here. Um, it does have a settings app where you can set it. I mean, it, when you click on this, this looks. Let me see. Let me get my 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 angle right here. I can't get it. I can't get it on the screen because my lights are too bright. Uh, let's see if I can get it on the top screen. There it is. So basically, you have your typical Android setup here. You know, you got your network, you got your Bluetooth devices, apps, permission. Uh, uh, basically, here this is what I was talking about the battery. So it says. You have um, about five days left, 16 hours and four minutes left, um, you know, and it's been, look, okay, there you go. Last time since full charges was 11 days ago. I received this phone about maybe six, five days ago. So whoever had the phone before me that charged it 11 days ago and it's still, and it's still kicking. So um, I, I think that's the best part about this phone, the battery, and of course, the, 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 the screen it's great for reading if you're again if you're a reader if you're a person that likes to read this is the type of phone that you want this is the type of smartphone that you want so let's go back here sorry let's go back um, it does have a little camera and the camera um, it does record video and this is what the camera looks like now the camera is not great I mean it's not again it's not a phone for a camera I mean I'm sorry it's not a a camera phone let me take a picture here let me take a picture so you guys can see what it looks like let me see if I could take a picture of myself oh no hold on a second let me take a picture of myself here so you guys can see it and let's show let me show you the picture now and there it is that's the picture it doesn't look bad I mean if you're the type of person that likes black and white pictures you know this this looks okay um, it, the, the pictures that it does um, uh, take, they are um, HD pictures. You know, they're uh, you know it records at at 920, uh, 1920. Sorry, so it does record and and um, and takes pictures at 720. Now, um, whether the pictures, I don't know if you send this picture to somebody else. And when they, re I never, I didn't even try that. I should have tried that. If you take a picture, you send it to somebody else. I wonder how the picture looks on their end because the only reason it looks like this on here is because um, it's the screen. It's this screen. It's not necessarily that the image is bad. Is that the screen is a very low resolution screen in comparison to a HD. I mean, sorry, in comparison to an iPhone or an Android screen. So very cool. Let's continue here. Um, Let's go back to that window. So like I said, it does video, it does screen, it does have an internet browser, it does have a radio, which um, the way the radio works is if you plug in some headphones on here, your headphones work as um, uh, an antenna and that's how you get the stations. So that's kind of cool, you know. Very minimal, very minimal. Here's the clock and um, you could change, I, I assume that you could change the clock the way it looks like in the front. I didn't play with this, you know, I wasn't really, um, you know, 
there it goes, digital style, analog style. So I didn't play with that. What I really wanted to test on the phone was how long does it stay on, you know, the, you know, the screen, how it looks. Um, so here, let me, let me show you the Kindle, the Kindle app. Now, again, uh, this, this particular phone, is it, most of the stuff is in Chinese. When you get your phone, if you purchase this phone, it'll be in English. So let's, let's pick one of these over here. I did see Harry Potter before. So check this out. Look how cool the screen looks. I mean, this is like having a Kindle in your pocket. Now it does connect to the, to the um, uh, Amazon Kindle store and you could download whatever books you have on there already. Um, any, any Kindle books in a while. Oh, damn, I can't focus on here because of my lights. Let me see if I turn down my lights. Okay, that's better. Um, on the bottom left here, it tells you how much how much of the book that you're reading is left. Let me see if this works better like this, so you guys can see. Okay, so that that works a little better. So you can see on the screen a little better there. Um, here, here are the books. So these are some of the books that are in the library already. So it looks like they downloaded the whole uh, J.K. Rowling. Uh, Harry Potter books so all the books are here that is pretty cool that is pretty cool so let's continue here that's all we have so let's go let me try to go back to the okay here let me see I think this look I'm sorry guys you know what without the light this looks a lot better and you guys can see a lot better what I'm trying to do here so let me just go to the front screen here so oops uh, let me close uh, this and here it is so this is what the front screen looks like um, you got your phone, you got your messages, you got your email, and you got something that says notice. I guess if you get, uh, you know, oh, okay, so it tells you if there's been any updates or anything like that. That's what it does in notice. Um, in email, of course, if you have your email set up, you could get your email. Um, pretty standard stuff there. Messages, of course, if you get messages, the messages will pop up here. And the phone, it's just a regular phone. You know, you plug in, your, I mean, you plug in your SIM card and you have a phone. Um, the next thing we have here is we have, like I said, it's a WeChat, um, you know, uh, window. And what I'm what I'm seeing here is most of the stuff on here is um is for China, main mainline China, and you will sign in and you log into the we uh, you know to the WeChat. I think you might be able to use WeChat here, but I think it's mostly for um, Chinese or uh, uh, you know uh, I want to say Asian cultures that use WeChat a lot. So. Um, Next thing we have is, like I said, we have the Kindle store and you have, this is where your books will be. And let's see if I could, uh, home, let's hit the home. And I'm not sure what that said, but uh, like, you know, iPhone or Android or what have you. Um, so let's see what we got here. Sorry, let's go back, back. Okay. And the next window, music window. So you could have your own music playing here. You know, you could download it, play it, what have you. Um, and radio like i said before here's a gallery um they they have a, you know these are the apps that come with it now i'm assuming that in the next version they'll probably have um the google store uh, installed in here or maybe not you know again you don't really need it again everything that you need for this phone is already on the phone everything else is probably extra um if you're looking for a phone that you need all the other stuff then you, you go get an android if you need a phone that you just wanted to read make phone calls receive text maybe read your email then the k1 is the one you're looking for so um let me just go into the camera again just because since I turned off the light uh, I want to see what it looks like uh, with with the you know with this like this so uh, let's go into the camera let's see if it looks any so okay so that's that's pretty cool you know there it is so this is what the camera looks like again it's not a phone to take pictures you know this is just a, like a, sort of like a novelty on the phone um, it does record video and it does take pictures at um HD at 1920 so very cool guys so I think this phone is for someone who who enjoys reading and needs a phone and doesn't need all the other bells and whistles that come with a phone I mean the K1 basically is a, a smart reader that's what it is is an ink, ink smart reader phone um, the phone is made for a person again who wants to read needs a phone Maybe gotta check some emails here and there. Needs to send a text or two. Um, 
and that's you know basic stuff there's a lot of people like that believe it or not i see them on the train when i'm on the train i see people that are using um you know uh they have their phone and then they have a the kindle next to it i bet you if you give them an option to get this instead of a kindle just a kindle i think they would choose this over that only because of how convenient it is um again battery life 400 standby time 20 hours read time and if you want to listen to music as well as 20 um 20 hours uh i'm sorry 18 hours music um listening to music and 20 hours talk time so guys i hope you enjoyed this very small review of the cave one um smart ink phone now it's not available yet this is a prototype i'm only doing this review because someone that the, the guys at k1 told me listen we're trying to um do a review on the phone we want to see what you you know Juan Guanos, what can you you know what can you show the people out there and i hope i think i, I show you guys basically the gist of it what it does um you guys let me know what you think uh the phone is going to be available soon it might it might do it they might do a crowd uh, funding campaign either kickstarter or in the glow um when i do have the link for that you could just check on the bottom of this video i'll put it on there and i'll let you know you guys know when it goes live um so let me know what you guys think you know i enjoy the phone i think the phone is uh is different it's definitely for its niche niche audience a, a particular group of people who need to read because i know a lot of people that need to read and need to have a phone but don't need to have all the bells and whistles so guys let me know what you think You've been watching LG TV. I am Juan Granos. You can find me on Instagram, Los Granos. You can find me on Facebook, Los Granos. You can find me on YouTube, Los Granos. You can find me on Twitter, Los Granos. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and share. I'll see you next time. Peace.